revolution that I get, so feeling with back in terms of past 18 years now. I have this initiative which is P4P, Podcast for Parkinson's. Thank you so much for your love and support in the first two episodes. Now I would like to inform you, due to some archival glitch in the third episode, all clips may not be visible, certain clips are missing. So I hope you still like it and enjoy it the way you've always been doing. Thank you so much. And by the way, the, the guests in my show today are, I'm very happy to say, Mr. Naki Webe from Lebanon and Mrs. Claudine Webe from France. Do watch and support. Keep continuing. Thank you. Good evening, viewers. We have a beautiful couple with us today, which is uh, Mrs. Naki. He's from uh, Lebanon and uh, Claudine, who is from France. Well, Hello, thank you, thank you. Hello, my name is Nachley Wembe from South Lebanon. Born in a small, very small village. No school, no cars, no. It was a life of being zone. Farmers. Very nice introduction. Commendable. Uh, I would like to ask Mr. Naki, what was your reaction and your family's reaction when you first got Parkinson? You came to know that you have Parkinson. Of course, you are not happy. Uh, but uh, at the same time, they, they were very surprised. And I believe you are a writer. What's your, what are your hobbies? I have a lot of different jobs. First okay. one, university professor for 16 years after director done of a research center. That's a long career, huh? Yeah. In school, you had seven years. Advisor to the Ministry of Education in Bahrain for nine years. It's enough, I think. Yes, of course. Claudine uh, is this caretaker, giver, I would say. And uh, she really takes care of him very well. We just see him sometime back in the studio. And uh, Claudine, how easy or difficult it is to be a caretaker or a caregiver? Very difficult to be a wife and caregiver. It's too difficult. You want to help and at, at the same time you, you don't want to push a lot because it's all, also uh, very bad because it becomes like stress on him. So very difficult to always find the middle. This is it. And what kind of hobbies did he have? Ah, hobbies. Hobbies. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think it is uh, uh, the only hobby I have I practice except. Until now, because he has written 15 books already. 15 books? Uh, that kept him busy. Yes, sir. His mind was always busy, it helped a lot. We need a lot of time for time. And if I may ask, how many years old are you? He's 75. 75. Mm-hmm. And Parkinson's was uh, diagnosed in uh, 13 years ago. 13 years yes. ago. And what is your greatest fear? You're scared of something? What is the greatest fear? The biggest one is to fall down on my back. That will not happen, hopefully. God bless on that. And uh, what are the therapies that you've tried and it worked for you? Any kind of therapies? Whether it was a massage, whether it was a exercise, whether it was whatever, you know? Yes, massage. Every day I have one hour of gym. 
بس زي ما قلت Peter, what is your message to people with Parkinson's? What, how, how, how will they, how, how should they tackle it or deal with it? Because believe it's really, believe it, even I have, so it's like really, really difficult at times. What is your message? Depends, depends. How is that? that the state of social state and financial state is because the first problem for me and first thing to do is to push up research about this. Donation will, will be equal to I'm sure I was the director of the research center for I know how things are functioning. Tony, yes. as a caregiver, what is your message? My message for the people of Parkinson, most important is to stay so socializing because it's very important to connect with other people of Parkinson. It's very, very important. And of course with family and everyone. But it's very good to and this is why I I tell you congratulations, you are doing a great job. I hope it will help everyone suffering from Parkinson. Good luck and thank you and waiting for this uh, great movie. Oh, Inshallah. Inshallah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.